there. We had uh, a heavy rain squall come through here for about 10 minutes time and uh, now they're about to kick it back here in gear. This is a uh, Paul Casey. He's uh, one down on the second hole. He's got a clean lie here just in the desert scrub. Had to take an unplayable off the first hole after a tee shot landed in the cacti. Peter Costas, what are you hearing? Well, we got to move back off the green because Mark Russell just informed me that uh, we have resumed play. Mark, give us the feelings about why you suspended play. Obviously, the conditions were very difficult, but I, was it in, in an equitable situation for these players? Hey, Peter, aren't we in the desert? <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, the wind was blowing so hard on third tee that players couldn't stand up. Uh, pelting rain. Uh, it's not like a regular event where we got the golf course full. We got two matches out here, and uh, we decided to uh, suspend play very sh temporarily. And it's calmed down a little bit. We're going to get back out there and play. What's the forecast look like for the rest of the afternoon? Well, in about an hour and a half, we're going to be totally done with this. But uh, we're going to battle this for the next hour and a half or so. But hopefully, it won't be as bad as it was a moment ago. Give you 10 bucks for your jacket. Yeah, <laughs> players like this jacket. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Back up to you, Jim. Yeah, that's an hour and a half from now. We're going to be totally done with this. Not the matches. I think he's talking about the weather. I you it. never know in match play. It's the ski mitts. I mean, again, if anybody bought ski mitts or hand warmers here, they would. that would be worth a couple of Ooh. shots, a couple of holes. Yeah, I'd, I'd put up some good money for that right now. Let's go over to the third hole. Gary McCord, let's bring you in. Wow. Hour and a half of this nice weather. I can't wait to watch golf, match play, and this kind of stuff. 209 yards. Sergio, this hole back in the back left. It's on a little plateau to the right. Swings off towards the water over there. The, I think he, he shanked that one. Nick Fellow. <laughs> I don't, sorry, I, don't, I, I No, did I didn't. I don't it? talk about those at all, Gary. I, I think didn't, he shanked it. I didn't see it's, a thing. It's still too cold. He shanked it. It went in the middle of the pond, which is 100 <laughs> yards right of the target. 100. Let's go to two. This is going to be fun. It certainly is. Second shot now for Vijegas. See how his hands are uh, warmed up at all, having the five minutes or so in the car. Nice smooth swing, as always. Just want to try and put it in the fairway here. He's missed it just to the left, David. That's now that one is. Uh